What's up, Fish Tank TV? This is Boy with a Fish Tank, and um, this is my 50 gallon um, Malawi tank. And as you can see, it's pretty damn big. It's a Jewel Rio 180. So um, it's 180 liters, which is about 40, 49 gallons. Um, and uh, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the tank, and I'm also gonna talk a little bit about the, the fish in here. So uh, probably the most interesting thing in here is uh, the fish. So um, these blue ones you see here, those, um, those are your honey cichlids. Uh, they grow pretty damn big, and I guess I'll get more of these. They're really beautiful. Uh, these are sea ephras. These are white top sea ephras. I got two of these. Uh, really, really beautiful. Um, as you can see them there. And um, they're just swimming about here. And uh, the brown ones here um, are the Nostis cichlids. And uh, they will grow pretty big, so I need to take that into consideration. And uh, this guy, the yellow one right there, is um, a yellow lab. And uh, these guys are really, 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 really cool. Uh, that bright uh, yellow color, I just love that. And then I got um, a yellow tail SI, um, which you can see right here. I actually had two of these, but the one of them weren't really healthy, and uh, he died off after a day. Um, so, um, but this guy is really, really healthy, looking really, really good. Um, and basically, all the fish in here are looking very healthy. So um, now let's talk about the aquascape. So what I got here is. Um, I don't know if it's some type of lava rock or something like that, um, but uh, there's a lot of holes in there, and uh, I've also staked it up, so the fish can uh, swim between these holes here, as long as they are small. I also got some holes over here, as you can see there, and then there's just a lot of holes in um, the, the, the rocks, which is looking uh, very good, and um, therefore it's also really easy to attach plants like java fern and anubias, which I did some Anubias bacteria and just some regular java fan so um that is basically very good and by the way sorry for the shaky camera I'm trying to hold it still <laughs> but um so now I'm gonna talk a little bit about the water um since this is getting cycled um I know this is a is a dual filter and this dual filter is really really good I know that from my 30 gallon it is really really strong and it's also um, have, it's one of the best filters I ever had and uh, it's incredible it's just a monster <laughs> and um, I had the, these uh, some of these Af African cichlids I had over in um, uh, and an another aquarium which was about 10 gallons and uh, it had this filter here and basically what the there's one here in Denmark that uh, really know a lot about Malawi cichlids and he told me that uh, when I'm just cycling the tank and if I wanted to go fast I shouldn't feed them for three or four days and I should put in their old filter which I did and I actually think I'm gonna keep it in here because um, in the 10 gallon um, it basically got really really clear water um, crystal clear water which was very good so um, I'm trying to uh, trying to think of the methods of getting um, the pH higher. Um, I heard of pH buffers, and uh, maybe I'm gonna put that in. I don't know, uh, but I uh, but I guess I'll do some more, and I will also put a lot more fish in here because um, uh, at the moment these guys are actually quite territorial because there's not a lot in here, and. Uh, Basically, I want them. I want them to uh, be quite peaceful. So the only thing I really can do is uh, put in a lot of um, um, a lot of uh, cichlids. So uh, these guys, which are these uh, see Afro white tops, uh, they have actually started breeding because the um, male was down at the bottom of the tank and showing him off by shaking his body, and the female was just behind him. Um, and swimming around with him and stuff like that so I guess they're getting ready to uh, breed which I'm really happy for but um, I guess I already can feel the uh, the great um, 
output of this filter here. Uh, the great outcome of this filter is just that there's there's um no let's see if I can find it. I guess it's here. Yeah, here you can see it. Um, there's uh, um, uh, about uh, five different sorts of sponges in there. Uh, a green sponge, two blue sponges, um, a black sponge, and a white sponge. Um, the white sponge, which is basically uh, the uh, floss, or whatever you want to call it, uh, I have to change that every week. Um, and then there's the uh, black stuff, I need to change that every month. And then there's um, the uh, blue one, which I have to uh, change every three months, for the month. And uh, then there's a green one that I need to change every half year, I guess. So uh, it's quite hard work, but the, the filter is really, really good. So um, I'm going to keep it and uh, maybe still put this in because it makes a good water quality. Um, I'm thinking of getting a wave maker. Um, I guess that would be really good. They already got a lot of current up here. As you can see, it's just blasting out there. Um, I guess I guess it uh, is okay because uh, they're loving, they're absolutely loving this tank. Just swimming around. Um, and uh, if I can find the small Johanny Ziglitz here, he always swim between those uh, rocks and stuff like that. He really loves it. So um, yeah, it's going real great. And I'm gonna make an update video when I get more Ziglitz and maybe do. Uh, do something with the pumps or something like that. So, um, see you guys and hope you like this tank and uh, look forward to some cat series.